every LeBron James, Aaron Rodgers, or Derek Jeter, there are thousands of professional athletes who will never become millionaires or stay that way. Then there are the 21-year-olds who become millionaires overnight, then lose everything because of bad investments, poor planning, or just outrageous spending habits. Take former five-time heavyweight boxing champ Evander Holyfield. Remember the guy who got his ear nearly bitten off by Mike Tyson? We all know who he is. Well, he earned more than $230 million during his career. Two divorces, several failed business ventures later, and hundreds of thousands of dollars in back child support payments left him virtually broke. He ran out of money. He ended up taking a job as a sales agent for a financial services company called Premierica. Former NFL player Coy Wire has more on the challenges pros face after they hang it up. Take a look. Hello, how you doing? Eric Coleman. Eric Coleman is looking for a job, but he's having a hard time because his nine years of professional experience is unique. I played four years for the New York Jets, um, three for the Atlanta Falcons, and two for the Detroit Lions. What is something that scares you about the thought of having to do something else? Um, I think what scares me the most is the uncertainty of not knowing where I fit in. It's a dilemma that many in the NFL face, what to do when their playing days are over. Director of player engagement for the Atlanta Falcons, Kevin Winston, says it's imperative players learn to transition into corporate America because about 80% of them end up broke within three years after stepping off the field. I think uh, a lot of people think the guys play in the league, they make you know millions of dollars, but we all know that the average career span is about four years. And so with that being said, when you're 28, 29 years old, you still have a lot of life to live. And most have never dreamed about doing anything else, like 14-year veteran Marcus Pollard. You spend your whole life doing a certain job, uh, and then you realize one day that I can't do it anymore. And, you know, it's sad, it's heartfelt, it's, you know, what's my next step, what do I do now? That next step is being addressed in an NFL transition event for former players, giving them the tools to compete in the business world. This is not good on a mock interview, is it? No. No. They participate in mock interviews, resume building, and ultimately meet with potential employers with hopes of landing a job. I'm Chris Hoke. I'm a 11-year veteran of the NFL. I'm a great communicator. I'm a great father. You know, I deal great with people. Um, this is who I am, and I'd be great. I'd be a huge asset for your company. In the two-minute drill, I have to stop this team from scoring a touchdown. I have to, my nerves have to be calm. I have to communicate with everyone while 70,000 people are screaming at me. All those things... I think will tra help me transition to the business world more efficiently than someone who hasn't been under those, under those things. 